to my favorite tiny house I have ever stayed in, The Nook, which is located in Swannanoa, North Carolina, about 20 or 30 minutes outside of Asheville. I'm going to be giving you a tour of this beautiful 400 square foot tiny house. This is my favorite tiny house I've shown on this channel and I will definitely be taking notes of inspiration for myself. The Nook is on Airbnb so you can come check it out for yourself. The link is down below to check it out and if you want to book this place it is very very popular. I'm filming this in February and there's only three nights available for the rest of the 2021 year. So book it in advance and don't wait till the last minute. If you do wait till the last minute sometimes on their Instagram account they'll post cancellations like last minute cancellations so go follow them on your Instagram account. Whenever you arrive to the Nook, this beautiful Airbnb surrounded by trees and nature, it just blends right in to the scenery. If you're not really looking for it, you might miss it, but whenever you look upon it, you'll see how majestic it looks and how cozy this cabin tiny house really is. It looks phenomenal. I love the windows on the outside and just it looks huge from the outside because the ceilings are really tall and there's a couple loft space on the inside so it looks huge on the outside you can see there's an outdoor patio and on this back side this round window and this really stands out amongst other tiny houses the host was incredibly nice he was telling me the story behind this tiny house and how important craftsmanship was with this tiny house and how everything has been either repurposed or handmade and how local history and just local artists are really included in this tiny house and there's some Japanese inspiration inside as well there's a lot to it so if you ever come and stay here for sure ask about what this tiny house is all about so you walk down this path to your tiny house at night it is lit by the string lights that go right up to the cabin and you walk down and you can see your round window over here on the back and there's a small porch tin area over here on the right this is where you walk into a couple things to note out here this black wood was done by japanese technique to make this wood black and give it this certain look and a lot of the wood has been repurposed from old barn wood or actually found on properties that are dead trees and they've been cut and used for this tiny house which is really awesome this post right here was found on the owner's property and you can see right here it was struck by lightning which made the tree of course fall and he's been using it right here for support and it's just awesome to hear that small snippet story of this tiny house if we walk around over on the left side you have a small fire pit area it was so cold whenever i stayed here i didn't want to go outside and try to start a fire i might not have even been successful so i didn't want to freeze but there is a fire out here and you can just take a look at all around and all the trees and you feel like you're really in the forest one cool thing to know is that if you cannot see the type of tree from the tiny house he did not use that type of wood when making or building this tiny house which is pretty cool so with that being said let's just walk inside and check it out this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to explore new skills or deepen your creativity. The classes range from anything to animating, self-portrait photography, or even interior design. One class that really interested me was Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Perfect Your Space by Lauren Cox. This is a really in-depth class. It's like an hour and a half long that explains all about interior design and more specifically, color is a very important class that I watched and how important color is because a lot of spaces I see choose some really wacky colors and don't really flow that well. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning. There's no ads and there's always premium classes getting added to it and all of this is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So the first 1,000 of you guys, my subscribers, that click the link down below will get a free trial of premium membership on Skillshare and to explore whatever you want. Now back to the tour. first walk in on the left side is a small foyer area. There's a small bench right here. You can sit down and get your shoes all undone and they provide some slippers under here for you. And up above they provide some books and there's just a couple baskets but 
you will continue walking and now you reach your kitchen area and dining space area. This is the iconic place that I've seen all over Instagram. I think this place is very, very popular. And this is your dining nook, which is surrounded by this beautiful black walnut wood. You got the huge round window right here in the middle and there's two seats on either side. And then of course your table in the middle. There's a couple shelves that are sunk in the wood over here. Just overall, this looks absolutely phenomenal and beautiful. Definitely picturesque and even romantic and unique for a couple's getaway or whatever. I loved this spot so much. And on the other side is your kitchen area, which is also black walnut wood for the cabinets, I believe. I think the cabinets are very high quality. You open them up and they have your cooking utensils and anything like that. Over here on the right side is this pretty unique fridge. The top drawer is your fridge. The bottom drawer is your freezer. They provide a couple beers if you're into that. And above all of this is your black countertop. On this right side, you have a cooktop stove, and then you have your sink over here on the left side. On both sides of this kitchen, you have a couple shelves. Over here on this right side is this beautiful handmade shelf that holds all of your spices. And then over on the other side, you got a couple other shelves that hold your coffee or your tea. One thing about the tea is that it is gathered locally in the owner's property, which is super cool. So there's, there's mint tea. He gathered that himself and made the tea. I think that is so cool. And then you have this crate over here, and I forget what it's really called, but it holds everything you need for your tea. And there's a really long handle, and there's a reason for that. If you look up, there's an opening to that loft area, and that is for whenever you're up there in the loft, it's easy to grab the tea basket and raise it up, and you have your tea up in the loft. I think that is such a unique idea, and it is awesome, I think. Also in the kitchen, you have the shelf behind the sink and everything, and this has some more of your dishes. These dishes and cups and plates are really nice because it's locally made pottery and it is very high quality. I'm gonna try to buy some myself whenever I get home because I liked it so much. We'll continue along, and behind this door is your full bathroom. Over on this left side, you got your vanity and a couple shelves, your toilet, and on the other side is your huge shower with the beautiful tiling from around the shower and even on the ground. There's a couple windows in here, but you can't really see any of your neighbors or anything through these windows, which is really nice. We'll walk out of that and we'll walk past your kitchen and your dining nook and then we'll swing around and now we enter into your massive living room space. There's a lot going on in this living room, which is super cool. Everything in here I think is unique and I've never seen any of this before and it is so well crafted and thought out. We'll start over here actually on this left side you have this huge ladder that leads up to your loft. Now one thing to know about this ladder is you might see that it's round pegs which hurt your feet but the tops of these pegs have been flattened out so it's easier on your feet. It's just one little detail that is very important. But you walk up in your loft and this is just a nice little seating area for tea or if you want to drink coffee or read up here or whatever you want. There is a huge 300 pound slab of oak, I believe, and a couple cushions for seating. You might notice that the oak and even the railings are black. This is still wood and it's not painted black. The host used a Japanese technique where they used black ink to dye the wood, I think, and that keeps the texture of the wood and really keeps the wood looking like how it looked, but just black instead of painting it where it kind of just covers everything. I don't quite understand the technique. I'm gonna look into that whenever I get home because I think it looks phenomenal. We'll climb back down the ladder and now this is your living room space with the huge window right here that overlooks the rest of your property. And there's actually a swing right in front of the window that goes right up to the ceiling and you can swing around in here. It's just an extra seat. And this is very unique to have a swing in a tiny house. It just adds to the vibe and just the uniqueness of this place. Then you have a couch on the other side with a pull out coffee table. This wooden slab is actually on wheels and you can slide it in and out from under this couch to save space. I love this idea. And even in this coffee table, there's a built in spot for your coasters. And then this is also where you have your sliding door that leads out to your small patio out here. There's a couple chairs to enjoy dinner at. I wasn't out here because it was freezing cold, but 
the windows add in more light and it is nice to have a spot outside to eat at. Now onto the other side of this tiny house, on the bottom level is your main sleeping area. It's, you're right in this little nook with this back wall that has been painted, these beautiful blue mountains, and I felt very cozy sleeping back here and is really comfortable. And over here on the left side, you have a couple built-in shelves, which was so handy, and actually this really cool piece of work right here. The host told me that whenever he was building this tiny house, there was an old bird's nest in here. So he kept the old bird's nest to use for something and you can see it right here in this. And then you might be wondering about the bunny rabbit. He said whenever he was building this tiny house, he heard a squeal from a bunny and he went and looked under some bushes and he saw a snake wrapped around a tiny baby bunny. So he just grabbed the snake and saved the bunny and let it go and moved the snake somewhere else. I would have been too afraid to do that, but that is what the bunny symbolizes. And this is just a beautiful, meaningful piece of artwork. And now to get to your other loft space, you walk up this ladder at the end of your bed and you go through this hole and then now you're in your loft space up above your bed. You might notice that the ladder was slanted and then now it goes straight all the way up to the ceiling. They didn't have to do that, but I think it is a beautiful ladder so it adds more character to this tiny house and just the fact that the ladder bends midway just shows the beautiful craftsmanship of this tiny house. This is the coziest loft I've ever been in. You can see there's a small TV and really a seating area kind of in this nook. I don't think it's enough space to sleep in, but that means it's a perfectly enough space to come up here and lounge and be in this little nook and watch TV, watch movies up here. It is totally cozy up here. And the beautiful plants and the wood that surrounds everything is absolutely gorgeous. So this is your one of a kind unique tiny house called The Nook located really close to Asheville, North Carolina. The craftsmanship, the types of wood all used, there's lots of different types and that just adds color and it brings nature outside into your tiny house and you really feel like you're just really stress-free here. I would 100% suggest this tiny house if you're wanting to come to just get away enjoy a couple nights to yourself or with a significant other or get inspiration for your tiny house yourself check out the links down below thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch you guys next week with another airbnb tour